1979 graduate of Hamilton High School. I'm currently serving as your Alumni Association President. Welcome this evening to all of you to our 48th annual Hamilton High School Alumni Banquet. Tonight we are honoring the classes of 1965, 1990, and 2005. Uh, 
tonight would not have happened as as it did last didn't as it did last year without the help of um, a lot of folks. Tammy Lewis Williams, a 1987 graduate of, of our high school, is serving as our vice president, and lots of people always step forward to contribute little bits and pieces, such as such as the tablecloths, the flower arrangements that you that you see, and so. Uh, we really appreciate that. Before dinner, we would especially like to thank Sporties for printing our plaques, Star Printing for uh, printing our programs, and the Stock Market for catering our meal. In a moment, I would like to ask Mr. Connor Franklin, a 2015 graduate of Hamilton High School, to lead us in prayer, and we would like to allow the classes of 1965, any of those members, 1965, 1990, 2005, to go first. And after they have their plates, uh, we will begin on my right and work across the room. We hope that everyone enjoys this time together as we have the opportunity to fellowship. Uh, at this time, uh, Connor, would you please stand where you are, where you can come forward, and, and lead us in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for letting us get out here today. Thank you for letting us bless this food. 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 We have barbecue plates from Howell's Barbecue here tonight. I'll explain a little more about why we're doing it this way. Uh, it's a large barbecue sandwich. You don't have to eat the bread with slaw and baked beans. We have sweet tea and unsweet tea uh, to drink. And so, if you wouldn't go ahead. Nineteen sixty five, go ahead and take take the lead. Nineteen
started. I'm sure one of the women wants to keep visiting. Tonight we are honoring the classes of 1965, 1990, and 2005. Will all representatives of the class of 1965 please stand at this time? All representatives from the class of 1990. 
Please stand. Two thousand and five. Any representatives from two thousand and five? Okay. okay, this is the part I enjoy. Uh, do we have any members from the classes uh, from any of the 1930s? <laughs> probably, probably glad I didn't hear that. Uh, any members of the classes of the 1940s? Anyone here? Okay. Moving on, the 1950s. <laughs> 1960s. <laughs> 1970s. Okay, now uh, I want to talk to you 
talk just a little bit about our finances. The Alumni Association does have a CD in the amount of $8,509.36. We also have a checking account, and the balance of the checking account is $604. And what we do each year, the money that we raise here at the Alumni Banquet, we take that money, we give a $1,000 scholarship to a high school senior whose parents both graduated from Hamilton and is planning to attend Bevel. We pay for our food, we pay the attendant from Bevel, we buy our programs um, and take care of just some odds and ends like tablecloths and things like that. So I just uh, I wanted to let everybody know what, what happens with the money that you pay for the banquet and that we do have a checking account and a CD. So, Is there any old business or does anybody have any questions about um, anything? Is there any new business? Does anybody want to make any suggestions? <coughs> any suggestions? Um, fundraisers? Uh, David has done an excellent job. He, he did a fundraiser at the end of the school year with the students. Uh, they pre-sold uh, barbecue plates. Uh, they picked those up today, and that, that was an excellent fundraiser. That money will go into our checking account for the scholarship. Uh, any suggestions that y'all have on any other type of fundraiser that we might do throughout the year? Uh, any suggestions about anything, we will greatly appreciate and, and take into consideration. And anybody that's that's willing to uh, to work and help, just just let us know. <coughs> yes. I understand that perhaps next year we will be having this vocation. We have discussed that, and I think uh, we're going to talk about that just a little more. A little late. I think but it would be great if we could would have the opportunity, especially, I mean, I'm out of state and I haven't been in the school in four years ago. I haven't been in the school. It would be nice just to be able to maybe go into the tour, and I know at the time that he's had a yell and everything's going to just have to call up and show up. That would be great. Thank you. I'm glad you stood up and gave us your opinion, and I'm glad it was positive, especially since we had been considering that. And uh, a little later on, we're going to talk about that a little more in depth and uh, maybe get some more feedback. And hopefully, everybody's going to be real enthusiastic and excited about moving it back to the, the campus. At this time, I would like for Mr. Miller to come, and he's going to give us a, a little update and tell us some things that are going on and plans that he has. If you want to go to the school, I cannot guarantee you that you will like what you see. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious about what I say here. Uh, this is a very, very busy summer. Uh, what year did we uh, start remodeling, Mr. Jackson? About uh, 2006. So, oh, about five, six, somewhere in there. We remodeled for three summers and two school years. And the number of projects that are going on at the school, uh, number-wise, is greater than what it was during the remodeling process. Uh, but if you would like to go to the school, uh, we are in the process of doing a number of things inside and outside the building. But I would be glad to go up with you afterwards if you'd like to do that. Keeping in mind, uh, it's the summertime, okay? <laughs> And uh, everything that's going on, but we'd love to love for you to come. I, I'd love for you to have your uh, have our banquet there uh, next year and any year. Uh, it's, it's great. It's a great school. This marks the 120 uh, 20th anniversary of the founding of the school in 1895, and uh, it has such a rich heritage. Uh, this. Hamilton High School, even though it didn't start off as Hamilton High School, has a tremendous history of success. Uh, you are to be commended for uh, your efforts to encourage people uh, 
to, to be a part of Hamilton, be a part of Hamilton High School. Uh, it's a joy to be uh, serving and the honor of serving as the principal of that school. Uh, this is my 13th year. Janice and I have been here 13 years. Uh, but it's my uh, 59th year in some form of education, uh, either being a student or uh, being a teacher or uh, in administration. And uh, the, the colors of maroon and white, uh, probably, uh, I, when I do that, I probably turn maroon because for 57 of the 59 years, the school colors have been maroon and white. And that's a, that is a great accomplishment. Uh, I know that crimson and white are important in this area, but let me tell you something. Maroon and white are the two colors, let me tell you, okay? They are the two colors. Uh, I am reminded sometimes that I'm not from Hamilton. I understand that. Uh, but I am maroon and white, and I appreciate that great opportunity. What's going on at the school? Uh, outside, uh, the Hamilton uh, Aggie Plaza is in its, I hope, closing stages, and Mr. and Ms. Jackson are going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we are attempting to uh, enhance our Hamilton High School greenhouse project that we have had going for a number of years, but the Northwest Alabama RC&D uh, awarded us, we were one of two schools uh, that were, or two entities that were awarded grants this past year to enlarge that greenhouse, and uh, we will be completing that greenhouse in July, early August. Uh, it's in the very early stages. We tore the old greenhouse down and uh, are building it back. Uh, we are in a very big project that is absolutely uh, the first within a Marion County school. Uh, very few schools are doing this, but we are actually working in conjunction with First National Bank with a, uh, a working branch bank within the school. Uh, it is not uh, anything other than a true branch bank. It's a, it's a, it's a great project. Uh, that's part of what you're going to see if you go up to the building. Um, and for those of you who haven't been there for 40 years, you, you're not going to recognize the inside of the building. Uh, the outside has changed tremendously thanks to Mr. Jackson and a little bit of money that the state gave a few years ago. Uh, but that project is going to be a big thing for us uh, because our students are going to actually be bank tellers. There will be three uh, uh, tellers working during lunch, and the students and faculty can open an account, savings, checking, bank deposits, withdrawals, uh, cash checks, get change, uh, and that's big uh, because of the, the, the fact that, first of all, it's the first Mary County School to do that, but it's also big in that it gives our students who are going to be tellers who were interviewed by the bank employees and will be trained uh, in-house. And so uh, we have a new business ed teacher, uh, former Hamilton student, graduate of Hamilton High School, I believe in class of 79, Mike Schatz, who will be overseeing that along with uh, employees of the bank. Uh, Mr. Jackson uh, had a vision a few years ago about that school, um, how to improve that school, and the physical plan of it. It's a great old building, and when I say old, 61, I believe is the first graduating class. Uh, you go inside that building and you will hopefully not be surprised at how well it has held up since 1961 because uh, we've tried to make it a place where it would be appealing. Uh, Connor Franklin is one of those kids who uh, has just graduated and I will tell you that the academic side of Hamilton High School, I'll put it up against anybody, uh, anywhere, uh, no holes barred. We have great staff. The uh, kids 
have opportunities that you and I couldn't even dream about when we were in school. When you have a pre-nursing program that is just two years old, uh, their goal, our goal for that, and we are in the application process, is for our students who go through the nursing or the uh, health science classes that is officially called to be a certified nursing assistant at the end of their schooling at no cost to them uh, is, is unbelievable. Uh, when you have engineering students who are building robots and who are designing greenhouse, uh, the trusses in the greenhouse, uh, David Markham uh, and James Beasley, both graduates of Hamilton High School, have done a great job. The engineering, the two phases of the engineering program, are one year old. We have a teacher education, a teacher academy, whatever you want to call it, that is one year old. We have an industrial uh, maintenance uh, program dealing with uh, hydraulics and alternate forms of, of energy, uh, CNC mill, CNC lathe, that is one year old. That school, uh, to be no larger than what it is, has great opportunities for our kids along with the very traditional uh, four cores that, that we have, math, science, English, and social studies. Uh, we have a, or will have, I should say, we will have a new band director. Our band director, uh, Matthew Cicero, who came to us two years ago, has uh, taken a job at a little school pretty close to Birmingham called Hoover. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I will tell you, I talked to the uh, chairman of the Department of Music Education at the University of Alabama this week, and his statement to us, to me, was, it is something to be said for Hamilton, for a Hamilton an instructor, band director, to go straight from Hamilton to Hoover High School. And so, it, it, we are marching about 101 kids, hope that uh, that will increase because of the interest in band, uh, it's, it's a great program and will continue to be that way. To let you know, uh, we had four students, four seniors this year who had a 30 or better on their ACT and the max score on that's 35 or 36. And when you get a 30, this dollar sign start coming out of people's ears, okay? And uh, I cannot tell you right off the bat how many had 25 or better, but we had four and there were only seven in the county. Four of them came out of Hamilton High School. That's probably going to jump up a little bit, I hope, this year. We have a pretty good class uh, of graduates. We graduated 95 students. That's the largest graduating class we've had in quite a while. Hope to do that this coming year. Um, Hamilton High School is a great school. And uh, you know that. And it's still going in the right direction. We have great staff, as I said. We're up in enrollment, which is a little unusual. Uh, but when you can see your numbers getting around 500, uh, we were just a little under 500 this year and probably going to be a little above 500 this coming school year. We do have additional staff that we are hiring as we go through. Uh, it's great. It really, really is. It's a joy. It's an honor and a pleasure. And I, I appreciate it. I, I know that you may have heard this before, but I do mean this sincerely. It's not very often that a superintendent will hire a, uh, a teacher, much less a principal, outside of his uh, own county. Uh, then when you say you hire a principal outside the state, people really begin to question your sanity. Uh, Mr. Jackson, uh, gave us an opportunity uh, 13 years ago to come to Hamilton, and we have truly been blessed by this. So uh, we we really are we're we're close to our half of our children and our our two grandsons. But uh, this is a great great place, and I appreciate it very much. And if I've lingered on, it's simply because I think of what we're doing at Hamilton High School is great. Uh, and at this time, I'd like for Mr. And Ms. Jackson to come up here and uh, talk to you a little bit about the uh, Aggie Plaza and uh, give you an update on that. So let's give them a good round of applause.
I believe we, uh, I believe we hit a home run. You know, David said something as, as he got up here about being proud to be a graduate of Hamilton High School. And Brenda and I certainly are. And we began to talk after, after I retired. She retired about three years before me. And we began to throw some ideas around about what we might could do for our school. We, uh, we wanted, excuse me, we wanted to do something and really wasn't sure. But one day we were going down the, the highway and she said, wouldn't it look nice if we uh, had a rock iron fence and brick columns in place of the old chain link fence that we had had to replace numerous times. And I said, yes, it would, but do you realize how much that might cost? <laughs> but that was in early spring of 2011. And unfortunately, in, in April of 2011, the tornado uh, destroyed the schools at Hackenberg, and I uh, realized that, that the board had hired uh, Latham and Associates, an architect firm out of Birmingham, to do the school there in Hackerberg. And by the way, they're, they're going to be in that this fall, and if, uh, it's, a, it's a show place, really. Uh, anyway, I knew those architects from the time that I had served as superintendent, and at that point in time, was a good friend of mine who was, was a retired superintendent, was working with him, and a Hamilton graduate, uh, Andrew Clinton Harbison, was one of their architects. And so uh, we contacted her and I said, Andrew, would you be your firm, your bosses, would they be willing to maybe help us with a project at Hamilton High School uh, free? <laughs> free grabs. And she said, uh, well, I'll sure ask. And she did. And uh, was able to get them to agree to that. She drew her plans. And four years ago, at this banquet, uh, in fact, she brought the plans to us that afternoon of the banquet that night. And so that was four years ago, 2011. And we presented that to you that night, and from that day, uh, it's been a world. The weather has not been uh, cooperating lately, and we're, Mr. Miller had uh, indicated that hopefully it was going to be completed soon, and it is. Uh, we're in the process of finishing it up, if the weather will cooperate. Our fundraising has been great, and Brenda will talk about that, but that night, uh, a graduate of Hamilton High School came up to me after the banquet, and I don't mind telling you who it is, a great, great boy, and uh, Greg is challenged to look, but he loves Hamilton High School, and he gave me two dollars. Back toward the high school. 
Uh, we've had a, a four-year run with this, uh, but it, it was something that we felt like would be beneficial to Hamilton and to the high school and to the students. And with that, I'm going to let Brenda tell you more about the workings of this whole project. Yes, he said. He said I'm the boss, so I could do what I want. Um, anyway, we, it's been a long process, and we had no idea when we started this how long it would take, but it's almost finished. We got our plan. Uh, we uh, had to get approval from the Marion County Board. We had a meeting with uh, Mr. Hollinsworth, Superintendent, Mr. Miller, and the other middle school principal, Mr. Devers. And our, our landscape person, who's been our head of this project, Heath Avery, also a local boy, our architect, Andrea Clinton Harbinson, local girl, and Brayden and myself, we got permission from the board to do this. And I really don't think Mr. Miller and Mr. Hollingsworth and Mr. Devers ever thought this would come to pass, but it has come to pass, or it will real soon. And it was such a big project, they approved it, but I think they thought, mm -hmm. maybe this will happen, or maybe not. But what they did take into consideration is the fact that Hamilton graduates, you can't underestimate it, they come through. This is this would have never happened if the Hamilton graduates had not done their part. Not just graduates, but also Hamilton High School supporters. Not people who graduated from our school, but people who love Hamilton High School. And we have many of those as well. So anyway, we started raising the money, and it began to come in. Uh, for a while there when I was really, well, let me tell you this. In 2012, at the very beginning of this very first part of 2012, a local man came forward with a very large sum of money. We did not solicit this money. He just came to us and said, hey, I want to give you some money, and how much do you think this is going to cost? So we threw out a number there, really not really knowing you know, Brandon and I teach school. We're not people to build things. But we just went step by step, and we asked people who did know things how to get this done. And that's why it's been as successful as it has been. All right, that man came forward. That was very encouraging. And then I had several other local people who came forward with not as much money as that one fellow had given, but still very large amounts of money, thousands of dollars. Uh, I had a, a man who built the outdoor classroom. That was uh, expensive. We had uh, Coach Bobby Knight's family got the bulldog. And as Braden said, he's in place. He looks great. He looks mean. He looks like he can take on anybody that challenges him. And he's in concrete, so nobody can steal we, we glued him down. But the money then began to come in. We began to sell these uh, um, these columns. They were our columns went from 850 up to 2,000, depending on the size. People were coming to us and asking about columns. We almost got into a few fights over the fact that we didn't have enough columns. We started out with a certain number, but it grew as people wanted to wanted the columns. So we did that. Uh, we had people buying lights, we had people buying tables, benches, and many people buying bricks. We sold about 700 bricks. And so, um, anyway, it, it, got, it was so almost, uh, it was almost a high for me to go to the mailbox every day because I never knew how much money would be in there. There might be a check for a thousand, there might be a check for a hundred, five hundred, six hundred. Some days there were two or three hundred checks, so it was very exciting to go to the mailbox. Um, but as I said, this only happened because of Hamilton High School graduates and supporters. And 
if you're interested, well, let me challenge you. If your class has not uh, donated anything, uh, even if it's a brick, just a brick, we've got a whole section that says class of, like my class, class of 1964, and various other classes. If you haven't even done that, if you'd like to do that. Or some classes have bought uh, bricks for their deceased people or teachers that they like, or coaches or principals or whatever. Um, we've had three classes that have bought columns. And, you know, one class, no, three classes went together and bought a light. Those lights cost $3,000 a piece. So I challenge you, if you haven't done anything as a class or as an individual, this is it, because we're closing this thing down pretty soon. Uh, what do we need still? We still need, we'll still sell bricks, at least for a while. We have two more lights that, uh, you know, have a, no, no one has, bought, has actually paid for. We're putting up three gates, and uh, we haven't sold those. We have one planter left. We have a few tables left, and that's about it. And Mr. Miller, we appreciate your patience with this. We've had a lot of mud over there. They just had to deal with it. We're sorry it took as long as it has. But my number one thing that I want to say is thank you, Hamilton graduates. Thank you, Hamilton High School supporters. And, you know, this is your project. You made this happen. Uh, the idea or the dream that we had for this has come true because of you. And we thank you for that.
Marla was also very instrumental in obtaining the Hamilton I-22 Fox 6 weather camera, and she continues to work for the reality of the I-22 Welcome Center and the Civic Center for Hamilton. In January of 2009, she was elected and continues to serve as the Marion County Representative for Alabama Mountain Lakes Tourist Association. As with all events and tasks that Marla begins or is involved in, she sees them through and continues to support them. That is why on Friday nights in the fall, you can find Marla and Ed in their seats at Sargent Stadium. Once an Aggie, always an Aggie. I present to you Marla Avery Mentor, Hamilton High School Alumna of the Year. Marla also rode bus 12 with some of the greatest fellow students she could have ever had. Each year the Alumni Association is fortunate to be able to award a $1,000 scholarship to a deserving student. Our recipient this year is a very deserving student and a very impressive student. Feel especially privileged to have been able to to have her in class. Uh, she is the daughter of Ken and Melinda Knight. Is Meredith Knight. Uh, she's very deserving. Uh, the qualifications, other than being a deserving student, is that both parents have to have attended Hamilton High School or graduated from Hamilton High School, uh, and the student has to pursue a college, at least start out in college at Bevel State Community College here as part of that scholarship today. Just a little bit about <coughs> Meredith. Um, she's very deserving and very, uh, very versatile. Uh, I'm very proud of her, of her anywhere, whether or not she, she received this award or not. She graduated this year with it advanced academic endorsement. She's been a member of the National Honor Society, uh, SGA representative. She's held several class and club officer positions uh, above and beyond what we, could, what we could mention. Member of the girls basketball team while at Hamilton High School. Uh, participated in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Member of the H Club, the Science Club, SAD, Junior Civitans, the History Club, Future Business Leaders of America and the Las Caritas uh, Service Organization. Probably more than anything is you look at the applications for these scholarships. What stands out and what really makes or breaks you is not the academics or the sports activities that you participate in, but the service accomplishments that you participate in because that's above and beyond what we normally, normally see. Meredith participated in Special Olympics, Christmas for Kids, Breakfast for Santa Post, uh, Vacation Bible School, the Children's After School Program, the Thanksgiving Meal uh, Ministry here in Hamilton. She, on her own, she's visited the nursing home residents and often serves communion to uh, homebound individuals. She's an excellent student, a great kid to have in class, and comes from a great family. Uh, Ken and Melinda, thank you so much for Meredith. Mark, you to be proud to have a sister like her. So she's not here tonight uh, because of prior obligations, but it, it's especially important that we go ahead and, and recognize these kids for what they've done. And she is. Uh, to reiterate what Mr. Miller and some others have said, she is typical of many of the kids that we have graduating at Hamilton High School, but at the same time, not typical Want to elevate her. So she's very deserving. So uh, see her, recognize her, know who she is, and congratulate her parents and her brother.
couple of things that I forgot to tell you that are, I think, very, very important. Uh, this year, our graduating senior class, uh, as always, works pretty hard to try to get scholarships. We encourage our students to, to make applications and those kinds of things. Conservatively speaking, uh, Stacy Page, our guidance counselor, uh, calculated, and again I say conservatively, the amount of uh, scholarships that our graduating seniors received this year was in excess of about a $1.5 million. And that's a pretty good chunk of change when you, when you think about that for kids to, to work academically, athletically, uh, you name it. The other thing, we have a, a real great opportunity, or we've had a great opportunity. Boeing, which has a, a part of its business in Huntsville, has an internship that they make available. Uh, we could say across the country, by, but for sure within the southeastern part of the United States, they make available through application and an application process, 10 internships during the summer. Keep in mind, there are only 10 students that receive these internships. Two of them are from Hamilton. That is unheard of. And it's uh, people like our staff who are getting our students ready for the workforce, uh, for college, and that, but just, I want you to think about that. Two out of 10 come from Hamilton, and the other eight come from the rest of the country. Okay, that's, that's what's going on. And finally, right after the seniors got back from their uh, senior trip, they go to New York and Washington and all that, uh, they got back in on Sunday morning, and of course, we didn't lose anybody that we know of. Uh, and we didn't bring anybody home with us, thank goodness, that we didn't want to. But I get a, I'm get sitting in my office about Tuesday or Wednesday of that week, and I get this phone call. And uh, this lady says, uh, Mr. Miller, I am, and whatever her name was, and said, I was in, what is it, uh, Bush Garden, not Bush Garden, but uh, Six Flags, or whatever it's called, Bush, Garden. Bush Gardens in Virginia, Williamsburg, uh, and I met some of your students. And I, <laughs> I thought, I don't know where this is going, but I don't know if I like this or not. And she said, they all had on t-shirts alike, and I just asked them, where is Hamilton? And two of our students just strike up a conversation with this lady, and she could not say enough positive things about this group of kids. Uh, and this lady was a visitor. She wasn't an employee. Now I want you to understand, this lady found out Hamilton, Alabama. She goes on some website, probably Mary County Board of Education, you know, something like that. Finds Hamilton High School telephone number, knows me by, by name, you know, and calls me up and I can't get her off the phone. I mean, it was just, your kids were so nice and they were so informative and I just wanted to come and commend your school for your sponsors and all this and I'm thinking, that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay? That's what it's supposed to be all about. And, of course, Mark, you went on that senior trip, didn't you? I went to the Special Rocket Center at Huntsville. <laughs> a lot back then. I know, okay. And then Meredith and, and Connor and all, the, you know, these kids... Antonio sitting back there. Arvell, did you go? Hmm. Afraid we thought maybe we could leave you somewhere. But okay. <laughs> That's what Hamilton's all about, by the way. Okay? That's what Hamilton's all about. The Community Spirit Award is awarded, if you say, given to a non Hamilton graduate for service rendered. And when when you try to do that, it's pretty hard to get somebody to come to the alumni banquet without telling them what's going on. That was my daunting task. David Markham said, see if you can get them to come to the banquet. First of all, 
the two people who are receiving the Community Spirit Award are not from Hamilton. And yet, they are as much of Hamilton as you can get. A couple of years ago, I guess it was, this guy comes to me and says, I want to do something in the band hall. And I said, okay, what do you want to do? Well, I want to paint. And I want to change out the lights. And I want to put new ceiling tile. And whatever else that needs to be done. And uh, he and his wife did that. And did it wholeheartedly, first class. Uh, did it with great intentions and good heart. Then last summer, he came to me and said, I, I want to do something else. Well, by this time, whenever he says, I want to do something else, I just, I don't say a word. Okay, what do you want to do? Tell me what you want to do. And if you look at the new gym, the outside, the facade of the new gym has been painted. The old gym has been painted. And I'm afraid to call him anymore because I'm afraid of what he's going to do. Uh, to show you what kind of connections they have. The lighted sign out in front of the school, we had some problems and it, you couldn't read what it said. We called the company and they were going to charge us $1,800 sight unseen to repair it. And uh, one day I'm talking to this guy and I said, you deal with this kind of stuff all the time. Do you know of someone that can just come look and tell us what's wrong? Yeah, it would be that 3 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. Well, at 3 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, up he drives with his, with his guy. Well, it cost uh, $150. <laughs> and then he paid for it. These two people... Uh, are definitely community spirited, community minded. They are the owner of four McDonald's, uh, Winfield, uh, Haleville, Fulton, here in Hamilton. They uh, live here in the Hamilton area now. Um, I call it Steel Street. I don't know if that's the actual name of it. But anyway, uh, I have a son who's in the band, and I'm so proud to, uh, to know them because they truly deserve the Community Spirit Ordinance of Phil and Sheila
So any idea, any ideas, please, please let us know. Um, I'd like to conclude tonight with our alma mater. Uh, Bruce Miller, you've been asked to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it's Linda K. Cash. So if we would, please stand. Now someone's going to have to start this. Why, Maroon.